In its incessant efforts to eradicate poverty in the countryside, the national government through the National Convergence Initiative for Sustainable Rural Development or the NCISRD is continuously fulfilling its paramount commitment of developing communities through convergence. In Region 12, the Regional Convergence Initiative, in partnership with the Provincial Government of South Cotabato and its three municipal local government units, Lake Cebu, Surala and Tiboli, has identified the Ala Valley Watershed as the region's first convergence area. The three municipalities have an aggregate land area of 102,289.95 hectares. The land area is drained by the Ala and Banga River system and their tributaries through portions of the provinces of South Cotabato and Sultan Kudarat. Ala River has been playing a crucial role in the socio-economic development of South Cotabato. However, there are confronting issues and challenges involving environmental concerns affecting its forest, rivers and lakes, economic losses and dislocation social decline and deterioration negatively affect the quality of living of the communities. Thus, the RCI has formulated the Ala Valley Convergence Area Development Plan, or CADP, which was approved by the NCI-SRD on June 2, 2019. CADP is eyed to optimize the land utilization of upstream resources to eliminate dangers among downstream areas through the stabilization of river banks. Guided by the principle of sustainable development, the overall development goals for the CADP shall focus on the following Environmental protection, economic growth, and the improvement in the quality of the life of the people in the area. As the lead convener, the RCI SRD comprised of the representatives from municipalities within the watershed supported by regional and municipal representatives from the Department of Agriculture, Environment and Natural Resources, Agrarian Reform, and the interior and the local government, as well as other participating agencies, conducted a series of activities to establish priority programs and activities to address the ridge-to-reef development of the Ala Valley watershed. There were series of consultations, workshops, and team networking to develop the Convergence Area Development Plan. As an offshoot, the following activities were identified for the Ala Valley watershed convergence area, social preparation, Intervention, Pre-Implementation Stage, Implementation of Interventions, Infrastructure Support, and Monitoring. The CADP 2018-2022 envisions a resilient, adoptive, and sustainable protected landscape governed and managed by empowered stakeholders and institutions where there is equity, peace, and harmony by year 2025. It endeavors to develop, manage, and govern a self-sustaining, resilient, and adoptive protective area while adopting the integrated watershed governance approaches using logistic and bisectoral collaboration that respond to the community of the Ala Valley Watershed. The formulation of the Ala Valley Watershed Convergence Area Development Plan, which anchors on the ridge to reef or watershed ecosystem management approach, will serve as the framework for the attainment of the common vision of responsible ecotourism, sustainable agriculture, and balanced ecosystem. The municipalities in the Upper Valley of South Cotabato have a diversified economy, but agriculture still constitutes the main source of income of its population, and these municipalities are Lake Cebu has a total land area of 89,138 hectares or 24% of the province's total land area. It is composed of 19 barangays. A total of 26,817.513 hectares are devoted to agriculture. The municipality of Tiboli, on the other hand, consists of 25 barangays with a total area of 91,527 hectares and is situated in the southernmost portion of the province with 16.24% of its land area is intended for agriculture. Surala has a total land area of 31,110 hectares comprising 17 barangays. It has an existing 12,990.44 hectares devoted for agricultural production. 
Considering its suitability, viability and productivity, South Cotabato prioritizes coffee production to accelerate its reforestation efforts and unify the community members towards social economic and environmental gains. Plantation industry provides direct as well as indirect employment to many people. This crop helps conserve the soil as well as the ecosystem and is one of the priority commodities under the National Greening Program of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Further, coffee production exists in the three municipalities. Small farmers are at the forefront, producing coffee from their small farms, averaging from 1 to 2 hectares. Planting materials were sourced out from programs of government agencies such as DA's High Value Crops Development Program, DARS, CLIMB, Philippine Coconut Authority's Diversified Farming, and many others. Moreover, DAHVCDP had established two village-level coffee processing facilities located in Barangay Dahay, Surala, and Barangay Luhib in Lake Cebu. In addition, DAPRDP has organized coffee cluster members in Barangay Nasi in Surala, Barangay Ned, Lake Cebu, and Barangay Lambangan in Tiboli. On the other hand, a cooperative managed processing facility is currently operating in Barangay Sala Cafe, Tiboli, South Cotabato. Being the strongest among all natural fibers and having superior qualities over other materials, abaca fibers are preferred over man-made fibers such as plastics and other synthetic materials by various industries around the world. The municipalities of Tiboli and Lake Cebu are the major producing areas of South Cotabato with an annual fiber production of 834.74 metric tons in 2017. 60% or 500.84 metric tons of the total fiber production came from Tiboli. Abaca is used as a raw material for the Tinala cloth and is considered as a superior material for specialty paper, cloth, ropes, and other products. Certain percent of the production within the convergence area is also used for Tinala weaving, which supports the dream weavers in the municipalities of Tiboli and Lake Cebu. Bamboo is one of the natural resources of the tropics and because of its wide distribution, availability, rapid growth, easy handling, and desirable properties, it has been well used in the daily lives of the local community for a wide range of purposes. In recent years, bamboos have been used in the highly competitive world market in the form of pulp for paper, parquet, plywood, and furniture industries. Bamboo craft making is also a source of additional income for many farmers in Sarala and Tiboli. Their bamboo-based products include brooder nest, basket, and furniture. Moreover, the bamboo is the main commodity for reforestation to combat climate change. Through Bamboo Development Program, riparian zones will be planted to bamboos through people's organizations for livelihood development and as a way of creating economic opportunities from established plantations. South Cotabato Bamboo Hub already distributed school tests as product of the hub. Due to lack of raw materials, the operation was temporarily stopped. RCISRD is pushing for the reforestation of the nuded forest areas. Massive reforestation shall be done and the establishment of forestry nurseries shall be established in 34 barangays in the municipalities of Lake Cebu, Teboli, and Surala. RCISRD is also proposing for the provision of scour check structures to protect from erosion and siltation of Gabang, Tabudtod, Nawan, and Hatul Creeks and Gaaw River in Tiboli. Riparian zone management would include activities on riverbank stabilization like revegetation and infrastructure interventions and capability building of communities. Construction of flood control facilities for riverbank in 136 barangays traversed by Ala River. Under the Ala Valley Watershed CADP, municipal nurseries will be established for high value crops seedling production, which will be distributed in all barangays. Reforestation using high value crops such as coffee, fruit trees, abaca, bamboo, and forest trees to increase the forest cover at the same time help in increasing the family income of the farmers living in the Ala Valley landscape. 
Lake Cebu as the summer capital of the south, which include Lake Seloton, Lake Lahit, Seven Waterfalls, and the Trankeni Falls, will be targeted to be part of the project. Ecological camp at Lake Maughan may include water sports activities like boating, swimming, and rowing will be established. Along the rehabilitated riverbank will be developed as a one-stop shop for agrofishery products. There is also a need to further promote private sector and community participation to attain sustainable tourism and agriculture and environmental protection. Farm-to-market roads, electricity supply, sewage, and water systems will also be developed to support the production and marketing of a wide array of agricultural products. Salin Tube Project, which is the priority program of the DILG, will also be developed among priority barangays. Folks, these are just some of the major goals contained within the Ala Valley Watershed, CADP. Hence, the RCI SRD is soliciting the instrumental support of the concerned local government units to make sure that the programs, projects, and activities penned in the Ala Valley Watershed CADP will be fully materialized and executed for the benefit of the people within the Convergence area. Uh, being the mayor sa Banwasang Lake Cebu, of course, uh, yung commitment ko sa convergence plan sa Ablada. Of course, uh, kami man ang source gid sang tubig pagkado sa baba, sa down to the stream to ala river. So, ang support ko pertigid. Kay kung mayo ang plastar sa Banwasang Lake Cebu, especially in terms of mga gindamo nga tanom. Different ng mga tanong nga ginabutang na tundri sa Banwasang Lake Cebu, fruit trees and all of the uh, fruit trees and even uh, mga kahoy, makahatag, makapreserve sa tubig, ini siya, uh, makabinifit mong yapon ang taga uh, ubos, surala, tibuli, tibuli man, isa man na ka-supplier man na no, sa tubig. No. So, kailangan kami mismo dri, suportahan gina mo ang programa sa convergence na ito, no. Kaga, I hope in the long run, no, maghatag pagid sa projects ang aton nga uh, ablada mm -hmm. at para sa aton nga banwa nga Lake Cebu para kay kam dream man ang source gid sa tubig, no. And even in my municipal level, no, as mayor in this municipality, matag man ako sa dapat mabulig ko para sa aton nga programa sa convergence. Whatever uh, makaya sa aton nga local government I will do it sa aton nga label dire sa banwasang Lake Cebu. Yeah, po, in behalf of uh, the people of Tiboli, no? uh, in behalf of our tribe also, we pledge to support uh, with this uh, Ala Valley Convergence Plan for protection of uh, Ala Valley watershed. No? Uh, ano ito, yung medyo advantage sa amin. No? Uh, this program is very advantage sa amin. No? Uh, for the reason that uh, if you revisit the uh, mga land areas namin dito is that if you yung map natin dito eh, nakarating tayo ng almost 91,000 hectares. No? So, would you imagine we just utilize uh, at this point of time 30,000? So, we still have vast of idle land uh, which need to be developed. Simulation campaign namin sa mga kabundukan talagang Kahit na yung kaingin, kahit na yung ano, binabawal na natin yung mga tradisyonal na farming na ganun. Kasi we need to preserve yung mga forest natin ngayon. We, are, we have been practicing uh, uh, protecting our environment by using indigenous dikes. At, uh, at saka doon po tayo nagsisimula sa barangay nasi ng barangay, ng barangay nasi sa Surada. Yung pagtatanin ng mga mga kawayan and uh, together with the uh, other vegetable or or crops to protect our river beds and uh, uh, other surrounding areas to avoid the uh, flooding and pangalawa po sa environment naman sa in relation sa agriculture We've been uh, doing our best to provide irrigation sa ating mga farmers para maging ma-maximize natin ang production ng rice and corn natin dito sa bayan ng Surala. That is why Surala has been uh, declared by the uh, National uh, 
uh, through national government, through the DILG, that we've been able to pass the environment uh, protection. Kaya nga po nangangalo kami sa Seed of Good Local Governance. Kasi one of the categories, seven categories, in order to pass the Seed of Good Local Governance is environmental protection. We have to observe environment. We have to observe, uh, how do you call this, uh, disaster preparedness. That's why lahat po yan, pasado kami sa national government na, yan, na evaluation. So ibig sabihin na po niyan, kahit hindi ko pa sabihin na po, magsusuporta ako dun sa sa convergence, ginagawa na po namin yun, hindi lang sa salita, kundi sa gawa mismo. At yun po yung napatunayan namin sa evaluation ng national na kami po ay uh, observant sa lahat ng bagay na yan. Uh, so, to conclude, uh, kami po rito 200% na magsusuporta dyan sa convergence. Conversion Protection Program ng ating uh, four agents of the government sa apat na barangay, di, asyam na barangay dito sa Sorana.